Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the launch of the Adria Motorhomes for 2022. There are a few changes which I'm going to go through and we'll have a look at the motorhomes that are on display here if you're interested or considering an Adria motorhome. So in exciting news or certainly exciting for me, new for 2022 is a revamped Adria Sonic and there's quite a bit to report on the new Sonic but I'm going to leave that till last. You might say leave the best till last but I can't possibly say that but I'll leave that till last because there's quite a few changes there that I want to cover. I'm also going to do a separate first look in more detail at the new Sonic as well so we'll come to back to that very soon. So the Adria Motorhomes 2022, what do we need to know? Well, you may remember last year, Matrix and Coral got a new revamp on the back end and a few features internally. This year, Coral and Matrix, there's now the Access, which is down there and I'm going to show you. That's had some changes. The Adria, Coral and Matrix Plus range has actually gone. They're not doing those for this year. The choice you're going to have is the Supreme, which is completely silver like this, as we can see, or it's going to be the Access. So let's just venture down here. So in terms of the Supreme, as I say, this is a Matrix. Now, last year we got this new back bumper, which brought in these new light features here and just looks amazing. We'll go inside this motorhome just so we can um, refresh our memories of what we're getting inside and the Matrix finish as well. Now, this is the 670 DL. So that means it's going to have a dianette lounge and the longitudinal beds. So as we come in now, these motorhomes, they are um, not far off seven and a half meters in length and 2.3 meters in width. The difference between Coral and Matrix, Coral does not have a drop down bed. If you look up above there, this is Matrix. Matrix has a drop down bed and is going to give you more berth. So if you're looking for a four to six uh, berth motorhome, Matrix. If you're just a couple or there's three of you, you're probably best considering Coral. So this is the um, Matrix layout on this model. We've got these, still got the same coloured woods and finishes. So let's go and have a look at the differences on the access. Now access is the entry level and Supreme is obviously the top end. So let's go and have a look at that. Now, I've no prices to give you today at the launch. I think it's fair to say they will all be going up like they are across all manufacturers. So this is access. Now, this is a 600 SL. And what we'll do is we'll venture around the back and, sh and show you the changes here. Because last year, um, we didn't get changes on the access range. So this is Adria Matrix Access. You can see the whole body and back end is white as opposed to silver, but we do get the new lights um, and that's just to, to bring this, modernize it and bring it in line on brand with the others. Let's go inside and have a look at what we're getting in the access. So we'll go in here. We've got a, a nice step there as we come in. Oh, this is really nice. So this layout, as you can see, we've got the semi dianette. We've got the wrap around here. This is the S stands for, for semi dianette. We've got the two captain's chairs and these are in a nice uh, cream leather with this sort of oatmeal-y fabric. We've got the fixed table on this particular layout. And then we've got a really nice kitchen space. Um, access, as I say, is a little bit more simpler because it's entry level but we've got a nice flap here to give us more worktop space i like that feature because one thing i find with adria kitchens is they are restricted sometimes on the space then we've got some nice well a number of nice drawers that pull out and then we've got good size tower fridge freezer with this being matrix it does have the drop down bed hence we've got this little curtain here as well for privacy We've got the all-in-one washroom there. And then we've got the huge longitudinal beds. So when you see on Adria, the L, so like this is the SL, so S is for that lounge area. And the L is for the longitudinal beds. They're like single beds, but convert into a great big double if you want. You pull that out and you use 
the additional cushions to make a massive bed. So yeah, this is nice. This is nice finish uh, motorhome. I like this. Right, let's trot on to the next uh, the next model and have a look. There we go. That's the all-in-one washroom. These are actually a lot more practical than they appear. Our motorhome, which is a Adria Compact Supreme DL, has that all-in-one washroom, and it's it's a really good piece of equipment. To be fair, um, right. What we'll quickly do is. We'll go into the Compact Supreme SC. So S is semi dianette C is Central Island Bed. I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you ever want any sort of advice on these layouts, you know, do leave a, uh, a comment below and I'll answer that for you. This is the Compact like ours is. These are 2.1 meters wide. And as you can see here, although it's a coach built motorhome, they don't have that, um, it doesn't protrude here like it does on Coral and Matrix, which are 2.3 metres in width. And you get the narrower um, wing mirror arms as well. These are really agile, seven metres long, depending on which model you choose out of the range. Let's go in. So, the compacts. Uh, as I say, we've got the DL, which is a Dianet and longitudinal beds. The SC, which I have done a full review of, and it's on the channel, you get this bench seat here, which for me, they didn't give me enough lounge area, although this was the ideal uh, bed layout that I wanted, but I, I wasn't going to sacrifice the lounge for that. You get your fridge freezer here. These are 85 litres, compressor fridge and freezers. Great big island bed with the storage. There's your TV bracket here on the wall. And then we get that all-in-one shower room. Now these, as far as I know, these are about the only um, ones that have a Dometic toilet as opposed to Thetford. Um, so they've, because of the way this one's laid out, they've used the Dometic toilet, but otherwise you'll get the Thetford, ours is Thetford. So this is a Compact Supreme SC. As I say, it's the same as ours, apart from this different layout. So, right, let's venture on. Price-wise, for a top-end one of these, um, I don't know, if it's anything like RDL, they could be going up somewhere near £70,000 now, so just wanted to know. Right, we've got here a Coral, so let's just go and look in the Coral. Now, this is a Coral Supreme. Um, as I say, with the coral, you can see here how it comes out more. Uh, it's a wider motorhome than the compact. Um, we've got good sized garages on these. This is a DC, so it's going to give us a Dianet and a central island bed. So let's go look at coral. We've got the step as well, electric step there, which is currently retracted. Now, this is nice. Now, this is what I like about coral. Um, Matrix has the drop down bed, so the bed's here, so you lose the light coming in. Coral, no bed, big window, so it makes it so much lighter, which for me, that's a bonus. So again, if you don't need a drop down bed, for me, it's a no brainer going with coral. We've got the dark worktop. We've then got the white um, on the um, drawers and cupboards up here, but good size there, good depth and really good length under the under there. These are just push catches, which to be fair, they work really well. These are the same as on our motorhome, but plenty of storage. You're going to get your three gas burners and your dual um, oven and grill. Coral and Matrix, um, as far as I know, comes standard with the Alderwet central heating. This one, we've got our bracket here and a huge tower fridge freezer there. I absolutely love those. This layout, as I say, it's the C, which is the central island bed. We've got a shower cubicle here. It's a little bit narrow, but there's always a compromise. And the compromise here is, is the, literally the width of, of that. Then we've got a toilet washroom. The door, just going to close across there. I'll show you in there once we've swiveled round because it looks really nice actually. Um, and then here we've got a really light and airy bedroom. We've got um, windows obviously both sides and that great big skylight up there. And then we've got a really good size 
um, bed again. Look at the width. I mean, it's really wide bed, nice headboard. That's all going to illuminate. Obviously, it's currently uh, in its um, recline position at the moment. But the features on these motorhomes, um, I mean, these aren't plugged in, but normally, you know, all these things light up and all sorts of things. So, yeah, absolutely beautifully finished. So that is that layout there. And then you can have a television on here if you want to fit a bracket because there is an aerial socket as well. A lot of people like television in, in the bedroom. To be fair, I, I'm quite partial to it. And this, this is that washroom that I told you about. So there you go. So you can see in there, we've got the really nice swivel toilet. We've got your wash basin and your mirror and what have you. So that's a lovely little little washroom. There we go. Price wise on Coral and Matrix, I don't know. Again, last year, I think they were somewhere around heading up to £80,000. I don't know this year, um, but let's continue on our travels. Obviously, um, with the Supreme, that is the highest spec. Um, the Access is the um, slightly more, well, slightly more affordable model, shall we say. So that's the difference there. What we're going to do is, you'll see there's plenty of Adria twins. Now, there's a whole new model for 2022 on the sports layout, and I'll show you that. It's in the garage around the corner. So we'll go have a look at that in a bit. But let's just have a look at uh, the twin for 2022. So this is the SLB layout. So we'll go in, you've got your uh, step that comes out here. We've got the door on the off, uh, off side. Now there's various layouts on the twins and it really does depend on what suits you. There's now a couple of the pop tops as well, which have been popular on the sports model. Um, you get a nice seating area, plenty of table space, these funky little kitchens, which are always nice. You get the additional worktop flap as well there. Um, they do have um, a small um, sort of oven feature here. We've got the Thetford uh, fridge freezer. Good size little um, washroom. It's got the Thetford toilet and then you simply pull that across and that feeds back into there and that exposes your shower yes it's a small space but this is a van conversion you know there's there's always got to be a compromise um, and with these it's just with simple things like that but totally usable and then back here we get these two longitudinal beds um, which do fold up as well and do various things so if, depending on how you want to use that space so that gives you an idea of a twin. I'll dive out again. So what we'll do is we'll just go and have a look at the pop-up version that I mentioned that's around the corner in the garage. So let's go and have a look at that. So we've dived inside the garage area and we're just going to have a look at this new model. It's the Adria Twin 640 SG Sports and as you can see it's got a great pop top and this is a new layout in the sports range for families or people that are really keen on outdoor activities and I'll show you that in a minute. So lengthwise it's 6.36 meters long. This particular model, this one, has got a huge MTPLM of 4,300 kilos, so you can't drive it on your B1, you'd need your C1 driver's license, and it's got such a huge payload because of what's going on in the back end, and I'll show you that shortly. So, as we can see, we've got the electric step, and then we've got a ladder that's going up into that pop top. Now, I wasn't actually overly keen on pop tops until I spent a little time looking at them, and then I actually got it. So, I'll just step in. It's obviously on the Fiat Ducato. Now, obviously, during the day, you're not going to have your ladder out, but 
on a night time, you'll put your ladder out, climb up this and go into the pop top area. And that gives you a great big double bed in the roof. So if you are a couple or there's, there's a family, you've got at least two berths up there. You then put this away during the day. You've got your captain's chairs that swivel. You've got this little bench seat here and this nice uh, table to eat at. You've then got here your under counter fridge freezer. I don't know if I can just move around there. There we go. So you've got your under counter fridge and freezer there, which is going to give you loads of space for the for the food for your trip, freezer compartments there. Under here, we're going to find two gas burners and a sink. So it's a really practical fan conversion. The one thing we're not going to get is there is no option for a grill or oven. So you can't have that fitted here because we've got this big fridge freezer unit. But if you're anything like me, you'll be barbecuing outside most of the time. Um, you could always buy an electrical cooking plate if you wanted to. We've got some nice drawers and then there's some, some good space here as well for storage. So we've got big wardrobe space here and what they've done on this sport model is they've got ventilation in the floor so if you're coming back with damp sports clothes the idea is as well you can put them in there to dry out. Now I'll move back here now this is where it becomes interesting and this is why you've got that great payload on this particular model you'll see the floor we've got the metal plating the idea is if you're um, a motorbike enthusiast or you enjoy doing outdoor sports where you've got a lot of heavy equipment, you can secure it in here. Beds, there's these drop down beds. These are massive single beds. There's one on this side, there's one on this side. This one's folded up so it gives you an idea of how it's going to be. So you can fold it up and this literally then does just become like a great big van um, for you then to go off and you can always use the bed upstairs to sleep in if you don't need these beds. These bags, these come as standard, so again you can pull these out, take those to the beach with you or your sporting events or whatever you're doing. Um, and it's the same on both sides, so loads of kit bags for storage. So the idea with this fan conversion, it's a like it or love it, it's not for everyone, this is, this is not ideal maybe for your summer holiday to Brighton, but this, if you are a proper enthusiast and you have large equipment where you're going to need a, a big, big payload of probably well over a ton this could well be the van conversion for you and you can just see the amount of floor space um, the bed space really practical and over on the near side as well we are still going to get the washroom as well which I'll show you so you're not going without you've got an all-in-one we've got the Thetford toilet We've got the fruit bowl sink, a little bit of storage, and then we can see the shower as well there. And then obviously the screen does slide around for privacy. I think it's just tied back at the moment. But yeah, lovely. I do like these little all-in-ones. So we will we'll venture back out, hopefully without breaking anything. That wasn't me, I just like to say. So we'll venture back out. So there we go. That is the new sports model for 2022 it's the sg really funky looking thing do like it um, and obviously there'll be further details coming on the adria website once all the details are released right let's head back out now and go and look at that sonic because that's all i've really come to see so let's go see the sonic so here we are this is the sonic for 2022 and this is what i'm excited about Previously Sonic, we had the 710 and the 810, the 810 being the twin axle. For 2022, there is no twin axle 800 series. There is just this, the Adria Sonic 700. It's going to be on three layouts. It's the DC that we're looking at today, and this is my favourite. There's then the SL and the DL, and I'll explain those as we look around it. Price-wise, you're going to be looking at a starting price of around £97,000. MTPLM is 4,400 kilograms. It's going to have a huge payload of probably just over a ton. It was 1,100, so I'd imagine it's going to be somewhere around that. You will need your C1 category on your driver's license to drive it though. So 
This model that we've got here, this is a left-hand drive model because it's come over for the launch. But if we start on the outside, it's on the Fiat Ducato. There aren't any major changes at the front end. We still get the beautiful silver sides, the great big two-lay wind-out, this great big door. We get the nice step for getting in there. And then one thing I like is the garage. Now, this is amazing. So if I open this up, and as I say, this is the DC model. So the door opens all the way back, as you can see. So this has got the Alderwet central heating. So we've got a vent there. So it is a heated garage. We've got the struts there so we can lift the bed up excellent size and with 1100 kilo payloads you could put a small motorbike in there if you wanted to do that we've got the button there that operates the bed to move it up and down to give us more garage space and then we've got a plug socket there the 10 amp and here we've got um, this is a, an external shower and you can have hot and cold water there there's lights and various other pieces the big big change is on the back end and that's where we're heading next. To fit in with the rest of the Adria range, we have got this new back end, this amazing light cluster. I'm getting excited because I absolutely love it. Um, it just looks absolutely amazing. It's that huge silver back end. We've got the, the new style reversing camera. Hopefully that's a little bit better than the Camos that we have on our 2021 Compact, which I've not been overly impressed with, if I'm honest. So hopefully that bad boy will do the trick. So that is the back end of the Sonic and I absolutely love it. We'll go down the near side. One thing I like about this as well is a lot of our services are on this near side. They're not on the off side where we've got our habitation door. So we've got our toilet cassette here. We've got our Alder um, vent and then we've got the water and other bits here. So it's all going on here because when it's on that other side, um, it does get in your way a little bit. You'll notice the door for the, um, the driver's door is here. Obviously, this is left-hand drive. This would normally be your passenger uh, side. As far as I know, even on the UK specs, this door will be on the near side. So you will be able to enter into the passenger side to get to the driver's side, or you'll have to use your habitation door. I don't believe they've changed that. Um, but we can see that there um, just on that model. Right. Let's go see the exciting stuff. Come on, let's go inside. So this is the DC. And again, I'll explain these layouts to you. Just notice there as well, you can see with this being A-class or so integrated, some people call it A-class, some people uh, integrated, the huge blind as well there in the windscreen. So that's nice. Right, let's venture in. So as we head in, now, Generally on Sonic with the leather, it is um, available in cream or black. Cream always looks amazing, but once you've sat on it three times, it doesn't look as great as it started off looking. So I'd be sort of more persuaded to go black. We've got the new style on the Fiat cab here with this great big um, infotain infotainment system and satellite navigation. Um, lovely, um, I don't know if I can turn that around particularly, but really nice. Uh, digital dash and what have you. Above me, you'll see that there is a drop down bed. So on Sonic, we do get the drop down, hence that curtains there, that needs tucking away as opposed to just hanging there, but it's been used at the launch event. So this is a drop down bed. The benefit of the A-Class, we see these this huge window, just like looking out there, it's, it's amazing. Great for sightseeing. This is the DC. D is Dianet, which is this layout here. There's also a DL, which will be the Dianet layout with the longitudinal beds. And there's an SL, which is uh, the semi Dianet that we saw in one of the matrixes, which has the um, seating around there with the bench, little bench here, and then longitudinal beds. As far as I know, they're not doing the SC, which that was probably, probably one of my favorite layouts along with this DC. Right. Let's stop waffling and let's spin around and have a look at a few of these bits. So I'll just move that way. Right, kitchen. Kitchen's on the near side of the Sonic and we'll just open some of these cupboards and have a look in these, see what we're getting. 
Right, so yeah, good covered space. Obviously, if you're short, you just got a little bit of a reach there. We've got an extractor and lights under here, and we've got two plug sockets as well. We've got the three gas burners there. I'll just close that down. When that's closed, you are getting more worktop space. We do have a little Nespresso machine here, look, on there, and it's ready to plug in up there, so that's nice. A uh, little square sink, that's quite compact. Um, and then we've got the Thetford gas oven and grill appliance, and under here, got a little drop-down flap. And then we're going to get some drawers, drawers with the drawer space there. That's really nice, they're absolutely huge. So you've got a few of those. There we go. As far as I know, you will not be getting a microwave unless I suddenly spot one in a cupboard because Adria motorhomes um, generally don't have microwaves. Um, I'll say that and one will pop out now. Um, we've got the control panel for the Aldo wet central heating, the Adria control panel. I would presume you can have your Adria Mac on the Sonic. Uh, got a couple of um, operational buttons here. We've got the television bracket and then a really good size Thetford Tower Fridge Freezer. Again, that's probably somewhere around, it is um, 142 litres. So yeah, 142 litres. This is one of my favourites. We had this in our Isonzo. Works a treat. And a massive cupboard up there. Absolutely huge. And then we'll venture back. So as we come back, to my right, which is the off side of the motorhome, we've got this really nice shower cubicle. Not huge in its actual width, a bit like the one I've commented on before, but again, a very good height um, and I'm sure suitable for most people. And then over on the near side, we're going to get the washroom, which I'll, sh I'll show you when we spin round. Now the bed is massive. Um, it is fully um, out at the moment. There is a privacy door as well that pulls around to close that off. Now coming in here, it is quite high. You can adjust the height of the bed as far as I know. Obviously that um, works with the garage space. We've got this, these little sh um, shelf bits here. I like these on our coral. These were really useful to be fair. We've got USBs, we've got the light switch dimmer. We've got some nice wardrobe space. I do like the darker wood actually. I was never a fan of dark wood and then for some reason as you get older I think you just you turn old don't you and then you start liking things you never thought you would um, but some good space up there we've got loads of little under lighters there and we've got the Adria um, media center there and some speakers as well so um, that's nice um, what we've got then on the other side is we've got the same over there as well and on this side, we've got um, space for a TV bracket and a socket here for plugging in the television aerial if you wanted to do that. So there we go. Good space in those. And it looks like we've got a nice um, illuminated, I don't know the, the light, I don't think we're not, we're not connected to power unfortunately, but that should illuminate nicely on that headboard. Right. What we'll do is we'll just spin around and I'll show you the toilet. So I'll do a swap with Jules if you just give me a minute. That is the washroom, which I think is really nicely finished. But at this sort of price, I would like it to be nicely finished. But we've got our toilet, wash basin, mirror and obviously storage for the toiletries. So yeah, nice little washroom. I'll just close the door again. There we go. Super, right. So we'll, uh, we'll venture back out, but yeah, so that's the, the Sonic. The one thing I do like about this Dianette is it does give you loads of floor space and it makes this a really nice open space. Um, so it, it is a nice layout. Right, let's bob back out. So there we go. There we go. And as I say, uh, 4,400 kilos. So that is the new for 2022 Adria Sonic 700 series. That was the DC. There's also the SL and the DL. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at the new motorhomes for 2022. If you've got any questions or comments, please do drop them below. I'd just like to say, as always, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.